And I'm just going to cut some, a couple of strips here. It doesn't have to be neat. I'm going to do two plug welds on this 26 gauge uh, metal building metal. One weld will be through a hole cut through only one piece of the metal, and the other will be a hole cut through both pieces yeah. of metal at the same time. Here I'm cutting the hole through the single layer. Then I cut the strip in half. Here I've blown a hole through both pieces of metal in the same place and now i'm gonna weld them up first it's the hole through the top layer of metal it's not a very big hole and i don't spend too much time welding it there it seemed like it was welded but you'll see in the testing that it's not now here i'm welding up the hole that I blew through both pieces of metal. I'm just going around the hole and welding the edges together and then filling the space in the middle. You can see as the weld is cooling that it got hot enough for a good fusion. On the back side, you can see that the single hole kind of looks penetrated, but not really, but the double hole is completely welded solid. You see the single hole doesn't have much of a heat ring around it, but the, the double hole does. Now I'm gonna grab both pieces of vice grip to see what it takes to break it apart. So I bend it a little bit and it breaks right apart. No penetration. Like is very common in MIG welding. But on the double hole side, the weld had to be hot to fill in the hole, so it is very strong and very hard to break. I'm putting a lot of effort into breaking it, and it's not breaking loose. So I'm going to fold the pieces of metal up to where I can get a uh, exceptional grip on it with the vice grip and really twist it. But once again, like I said, it's very strong and does not want to come loose. So this is the testament for the fools who say that you know, drilling a hole through both sides of the metal ruins the, the layer underneath. That's the voice of ignorance. When you go around welding the edges of both layers, it's super strong, as demonstrated here. Now I've got a good bite on it. Then I'll twist it and twist it and twist it and finally get it to break loose. And there you see it pulled a hole out just like it's supposed to. LuxCore proves itself once again. So please touch my like thingy and subscribe, damn it!